Okay, so um, just having a look at this here. Um, I mean, obviously the uh, the crystal is well and truly dead. Um, anything we'll be able to use from that is the um, is the uh, the tension ring there, which uh, when you replace them with a generic crystal, they don't have the right one. So I'll have to uh, have to reuse that on a new crystal. Um, just having a look at the actual dial here. The dial is perfect. Um, the original color of the hands is the bottom one, I think from memory, is white and the sweep hand is orange, so I'll get that repainted in those correct colors. Um, the case is pretty good. Um, I'll just try and get that to focus. There we go. So these cases generally don't wear um, particularly well, but um, in this case you can still see the original lines and stuff like that, so that's good. Um, that's, that's just the dial ring there. Uh, that's okay. So if I just pop the back off um, and not tip the camera over at the same time, we'll just um, just take that off there. If I can get it off. Okay, just one sec. Okay, there we go. So, just um, taking that off there. Just one sec again. It's a little bit rough because it's got some stuff in there and the, um, the gasket's actually failed. So, what that does is that makes it sort of stick together and it's quite hard to get off. So, have you look inside there. That looks reasonably good. The um, There's no corrosion or anything like that. So... I would say that the chances that we're going to sort of clean it up and it's going to look great afterwards and work well are pretty much 98%. Um, obviously, you can always have uh, always have uh, trip ups and stuff like that, but that looks really good. Um, quite often, what you'll see is you'll see corrosion in around here where the crowns are because the crown seals failed, and uh, or, or even the pusher seals fail, and water gets in there, so that can be all rusted up. And on, on this, it's not at all. Um, having a look there, sometimes the um, the balance assembly there has not been cleaned properly, so it'll be full of crud and all sorts of stuff. Um, luckily, that's not the case here, so that's all all good news. So I'm just going to put the uh, the back back on. Now the bracelet at the moment, I've actually repaired that, um, so I've replaced all the pins and stuff that were broken and loose and uh, falling out, and uh, that's going to look fantastic once that's done. Um, it does have a bit of slack in it. There's not too much I can do about that. Um, what happens over the time is the dirt gets inside and wears the pins and you get a little bit of slack on it. Um, not too much I can do there. Uh, however, I can make it look good. But uh, the bracelets that these came on were actually quite renowned for, for getting a fair bit of wear. And even, in fact, um, mine has quite a slack bracelet on it. But... Uh, in my opinion, I don't think it really detracts from the watch whatsoever. So, um, yep, so this is just a quick video just to go through um, so you can see what's sort of going on. And uh, I'll get back to you on the email and uh, let you know how we go. Thanks.